And I'm gonna let me my pot during this. Alright. Hello. Good much. Buen noche. Banwa. How are you doing? start tonight and I'm also still kind of exhausted mentally. Hello King's Law. Keep it like this. Stretcho. Keep your posture straight. Three, Everything's two, still going good. We're good. One, go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. It's time for the usual because Thursday night the ring, ring fit. Against the leg strap. Last time. Yes, just like that. Next is the heel lift stretch. Oh. So I hope everybody's been having a on. good week so far. Stretch targets your lower back. I pretty much streamed last on Monday, so this is pretty much my last, time. last weekly update yeah. and probably the last time they will stream this week. Next just because of the holiday weekend, stretch. I'm probably not going to be at my computer a lot. A step forward and drop your hips. I say that, and I feel like Friday night I'm going to spend it Focus on your form, trying to record your to catch up on stuff. This stretch works your core as well. Let's do one more of each. <sighs> All right, good. Finally, spread All your right. feet. And then raise the ring con above your head oh, and move to the side. As you get comfortable doing the stretch, I did a little bit of ring fit over the weekend, at least. I know last week I skipped out on doing ring fit adventure. I skipped out on doing ring fit adventure last week just because I was having a sinus Let's headache episode. And I really don't have those all that often, but when they do happen, they pretty much leave me completely Good debilitated. Job. And I cannot function. But... It do be Thursday night, and it do be time for some ring fit. So something I should mention, uh, five points, really? Yeah, five points, I guess. Something I should mention, if this grid isn't enough to tell you, is that this is New Game Plus. Wait, what is, what's it going to take five? Wide squat? Sure. Yeah, this is new. This is new game plus. So some dialogue will be different. Non climbers are still better. Yeah, we'll just not use it. Anyway, yeah, this is new game plus. So some stuff's gonna look a little different. Some things are gonna look a little better. Some things are gonna look a little. Something's gonna have different dialogue from like the proper playthrough. Also, do I need Peridot for something? Uh. Ah, for the shoes! No, we don't buy them. Honey is not allowed to carry any clothing for anybody else. Only only we are allowed to buy all of the gear and not use any of it. Anyway, oop, I can't go that way because the path's not lit up. Alright. Battle gym, okay. Battle gym. Good way to start and get stretched out. Normally I would like to do a yoga set to stretch out, but we're just going to dive right into it. Like I said, I'd like to do a yoga set to stretch out, and yet, I think I was just given the opportunity to start off with a little yoga. Uh, actually, before we start this, I should say, I don't mean to target one person, because I'm only saying this like this because you're here, King's Law. I play on max difficulty right now, so there's going to be a lot of reps of everything we're doing. Oop. 
you call it. Also, I go until that timer in the, in the lower in the lower left corner there hits about an hour, roughly. Because I do work a manual labor job during the day, I sometimes cut it a little short depending upon how I feel. Well, depend it'll all kind of depend on time how I actually feel. Also, my apologies. There is, is there any uh, if there's any ambient noises that are bleeding in. The microphone is right here, as you can tell by the pop filter, and air conditioner is about seven feet that way. <laughs> Just the positioning, everything I have in my room can't help it. This. Just gonna play some refit again after I had like a couple uh, about several days of just Great. lack of awesome. well basically a headache that could Good stop an job. elephant stopping me. But I did all my extra homework nice. for a lot of stuff. Great. I can kind of rest. I can kind of rest this weekend. Right. Although annoying me, Wonderful. if Very nothing nice. happens later tomorrow, I'll probably end up recording once I get home from work. Because the grind don't stop, yo. Anyway, not about that or that. sore tomorrow because okay. even though I do try and do this like any day I don't go to work nice. I do try and fit in at least like a partial ring fit session so I can okay. stay physically active or physically fit I've skipped a few days here and there just because okay. of all the reasons I've given earlier Kind of vague about things, but you made it. Stand up. No <sighs> What's everybody up to for the weekend? Anybody got some fun weekend plans? I know if you're not stateside, this has no relevant. This my conversation has no relevance to you, probably. But anybody got any plans for the holiday weekend coming up? Considering it's America Day, you know, America. You feel it in your stomach when you in America. 
Hello, Diggeroff. Uh, I know me personally. Speaking personally about my plans coming up, um, I've got. Uh, Friday night's kind of a toss up for me what'll happen. Saturday, I'm going over to a friend's house and we're going to do various game stuff. You know, I haven't done these in forever. We're going to do some various yard games, hang out and stuff. Uh, Sunday, going to my parents to celebrate my, mo my mother's 60th birthday. And Monday is a toss-up day, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hanging out with friends again on Monday for the holiday because most jobs give people off on Monday because the 4th is on a Sunday this year. They're all colorless. Fantastic. <laughs> all time to break out the Russian twists. you say it rings truer because in America if you're doing anything with fireworks this weekend please do not be stupid I don't want to come back to you guys on God, am I going to try and stream on Thursday or Monday night or something? I don't know, man. <laughs> but I don't want to have to come back Tuesday because of the holiday or Monday late, depending upon my plans, to, to see people having blown their fingers off. You can feel it in your stomach, not your arm. Why? Well, what? My curiosity, you have my curiosity, why what? <laughs> Red skill, you say? It's time for red. Yeah. A tough one, but you can do it. Oh, this? So why am I playing Ring Fit? Okay. Okay. Let's so it's kind of become a tradition. Around the channel over the last year or so, I want to say. But this is kind of a story, and I apologize to regulars. <laughs> I apologize to any regulars, but we're going to go over this story for a umpteenth time. So, about what is it? I think three years ago now. Three years ago. I used to weigh 360 pounds. And five plus years ago, I used to weigh like 440, but that's not the, the focal point of this of this story. So, eons ago, I used to weigh a lot. Then one day, I believe it's been two years now. One day, about two years ago, I said, you know what, I'm tired of being fat. And I went on a, I went on a hella hard diet, and I worked my butt, I, I did a bunch of working out, 
mainly elliptical, you're running on an elliptical, but this game kind of came along towards the tail end of my diet and workout thing. But, um... But yeah, I... I basically went on a, on a diet, worked out hella hard, and lost a lot of weight over the course of... I think it was... I think I eventually pulled the plug. Oh, nice. Um, base, I'm, I'm assuming that is baseball, because I think the Astros are a baseball team. If I'm wrong, you can tell me I'm wrong. I know hockey's going on too, so... But, um... But anyway. But anyway, back to the story. Basically, over the course of like seven months, I lost 110, 115 pounds. So I am currently at a nice, spelt 250 pounds. Up a little bit from when I stopped dieting because reintroducing what food you ate before diet back into your diet after you're, after you're done dieting. Perfect. You'll always have some blow up, we'll say. Itchy. But. But yeah, so. But the ring. But ring fit help, has helped me kind of keep. Keep myself in check and make sure I exercise my body. To keep. To keep me from becoming. Quote unquote fat again. So every Thursday night now, it's as tradition, I play Ring Fit on stream to not only keep myself on that, you know, to one end, keep myself healthy and working out daily, but also so I can tell this story that I do and to tell folks that, tell folks that if some loser on the internet can get his butt into gear and drop over a hundred pounds, over uh, drop over 100 pounds it's motivate i'm getting, doing that motivation to have have you join me in the fight if you don't want to that's fine awesome. no well i'm not watching a sports broadcast on stream that is the quickest way to get to get see to get a cease and desist from from the National Baseball League or National Baseball Association, excuse me. If anything, but if anything, if I were gonna watch a baseball team, I'd be watching the Brewers. That's right. Different baseball team. Now what happens? Excellent. <laughs> Whatever. Watch whatever team you want. This isn't me trying to trying to instill team rivalries or anything. Excuse me. Also, I'll also say, I'll also say that I don't have any subscriptions to any sports broadcasting things. I also don't have cable television. So, watching a sports game, incredibly hard for me. So, yeah. <laughs> Like I'll be honest, being honest with you, I stopped watching. I will stop watching TV about. Oh God, how long ago has it been now? Has it been 13 years? Yeah, I think it's been 13 years since I've watched since of my own of my own choice. I've watched cable television. And as a subset, you know, things like Netflix and Hulu. I haven't watched any of that stuff. Just. Good job. 
this is per personal opinion speaking. There's just, I don't know. What's on TV now sucks. It could just be me being old man Excellent. and going, things in my day were better. Good. But Not TV just, done. TV just, just kind of lost its charm a long time ago to me. Like almost every show is very dry and dull. Yes. Almost every, Perfect. almost every sports game is riddled with ads with advertisements every five minutes. Very nice. Companies are finding more and more ways to take their okay. what used to be uh, awesome. holiday special movies Great. off of the channels that played the holiday special movies because my me. TV just sucks now. Okay. Come on. before I started okay. this workout Let's session, go. so I may have to stop at some point to refill my water bottle. We'll see how I go. There we go. Oh, I have one more. Oops. Nice. I can't count. <sighs> I mean, favorite baseball team. I gotta go with. I gotta go with the. Uh, I just gotta go with my. I just gotta go with my state, Brewers. Then again, I don't watch a lot of sports. In general, I don't watch a lot of sports. I don't know any. T I don't know any player names. Or anything like that. I do understand the rules of a lot of, of a lot of sports, so at least that's not lost on me. But yeah, I just don't. I don't watch a lot of sports. <clears throat> Excuse me. My dad wants. If my dad gets the idea to, I'll go with him to watch a Brewers game out in Milwaukee. But 
Yeah, that's just that's kind of extent of where I am. I watch it if somebody else is watching it. I won't go out of my way to watch it. <laughs> Not to shame anybody who currently is is watching sports. Enjoy your enjoy your game. I just don't see a lot of the fascination in it. I'm just supposed to circle back around to the whole, the whole story I tell earlier. I should give some conversion numbers to anybody who is not from the U.S. Because I understand the U.S. Uh, way of measuring things is dumb. So for the non -US, any non-U.S. watchers, for the non-U.S. watchers, I was at like, what was it? I mean, I was at 200 and... 217 kilograms currently at 114 I think is what it is that seems like a lot of a change maybe I got the numbers off I definitely have the numbers off and yeah. yeah, seven years ago it was 217 so close enough <laughs> attack but I don't want to do mountain climbers maybe after the fact we'll do mountain climbers for now we'll do some twisting Sorry, just looking at, I was just looking at my legs. <clears throat> my, uh... Did you feel it in your stomach? The area Not just wrong. above my ankles was very, it was, was kind of red and patchy earlier today. It's settled down now. It looks like it's normal, it's normal disfigured, scarred no color. Take a break if you need to. Which, it might not show up very well on the thing, but... You ever want to, because I only do it like this because I am the old, but if you ever want to see what prolonged, what prolonged bad eating habits, no exercise, and sitting around doing absolutely nothing does, you can do something like that. You see that in my leg? That ring of dark? That's basically a scar. Progress. 
not getting exercise, eating like a dump truck for 20 years, basically caused all, basically the blood in my body wasn't pumping fast enough to get it all out of my legs. So I had, so I had excess water and iron deposits in my legs. And over time, because it just stayed like that, even though I lost a bunch of weight and I'm healthy now, it's effectively a scar. Like when you get in a really bad accident and you, ha and you have a scar on your body for your life. That's what I have, uh, that's what I have just above my ankles. And that is a vis visible reminder to myself that, oh, don't do that again. And that doesn't it doesn't hurt like that doesn't hurt it never has hurt even when it gets all red and patchy like it does uh, during the summer it never hurts it's just a visible reminder of poor life decisions in my teens through my young adult life So if you are a if you are a younger viewer and you are prone to sloth to the sin of sloth, I hate that I'm calling I'm giving it that terminology, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna roll with it. If you're prone to the sin of sloth, maybe think about changing some things. <laughs> Cause that's uh again I gotta pull up my leg for this. Visual representation of why you shouldn't be like that. And this is far from the future, it's not the here and now, and I know I'm talking kind of morbid, but wouldn't be surprised if my many years of being lazy and on and inactive probably will shorten my life by about 15 years bare minimum. <laughs> Yes, the ring cons misaligned. Horribly so. But you can't do it on the steps. Otherwise it gets worse. Do some of this. Okay, let's go. Breathe in when you lower your legs. Fantastic.
you know, even for how much I've gotten myself in shape, my stamina still sucks. I almost didn't make it to the top of that staircase. <laughs> Not ready for that. I was not ready for that tonight. But here we are. Having finished it. I don't care if it's easily nowhere. I might need a quick moment just to cool down or to catch my breath here. That was a lot of steps in a short amount of time. water. If you're going to do the working out, drink the water. Don't drink Red Bull. Don't drink Gatorade. Well, in some situations, drink Gatorade. Most situations, drink water. Definitely don't drink soda. Okay. Dapper. Amazing. Oh, my day be not so dapper indeed, my good man. Nice. As thou can see, I am sweating profusely in front of in front of a cameraman for the internet exchanges. Full sooth and how do thee! I don't know, I do not know old English speak. <laughs> In modern day terms, hi Kasai, how are you? Oh, I don't know 
honestly tired. I slept like a rock the last couple nights. Granted, I didn't give myself more than seven hours of sleep each night, but I slept like a rock both nights. Which, oh my god, I hate it when this happens, but I had one of those dreams last night. I had one of those dreams last night where, in your dream, you're dreaming that your alarm is going off. And keep in mind, for me, for, me, for the story purposes, my alarm had, was not going off yet. I had one of those dreams where my alarm was going off, and I was waking up and turning off my alarm, but it would just never turn off. It would never turn off, despite how many times I would slide the clock, slide the thing to dismiss the alarm clock. And then, what felt like five minutes of doing that in the dream, I woke up to my actual alarm clock and turned that off. All while sitting there thinking. Am I actually awake or is this a dream within a dream? A dream within a dream. Inception. Wow. I should watch Inception again. That's a good movie. I have it, right? Um. No. I actually do not know, I do not own a DVD copy of Inception. Which is weird, because I have DVD copies of some of my favorite movies. But I do not own a copy of Inception. I own 300. I own, oh no, no, I do see, I do own a copy of Inception. I see it right now. Okay, I just missed it from this distance. Yeah. I know it's kind of random something to you, but, but I, keep, I always have, like, some of my favorite films and some stand-up specials I have over here. Like, V for Vendetta, Inception, The Book of Eli. What's this one? Sucker Punch. Law Abiding Citizen. The Austin Powers Trilogy. Boondock Saints, Hot Fuzz. The first, the first live-action Transformers movie, Monty Python, The Holy Grail, Deadpool, Half Baked, Grandma's Boy, and like I said, my, I think it still is, my favorite. Or I also have a uh, Episode Seven of Star Wars. I love that movie. But I also have, like I said, my favorite movie, I think it's still my favorite movie of all time, 300. Come on, 10 more. Eight. Five work. Very nice. You got it. Come on, five more. Great. Good job. Okay. Eight. One left. Flawless. Maybe one of these nights on maybe one of these nights in the Discord if I get if I snap two and actually do it I can maybe I think my 360 can play movies maybe one of these nights in my in my Discord I can pop in I can pop in a movie and we can watch a do a movie night I just never bring up doing movie nights in my Discord server because I don't watch movies all that often. Whenever I watch a movie, it's never it's usually never by myself. It's just as a it just as like a friend get together thing. I watch a movie like uh, like 14 times out of 15 times. I totally forgot. I'm looking at it right now. So I don't know when, where I found it, when I found it, or how I found it. But I have I have a 
what is it? I have one of my childhood favorite movies. I found it on DVD for five bucks somewhere. And I had to get it. Even if I don't watch it, I had to get it because it was the one movie I watched to death. It's a... Uh, Uh, sorry, I keep like alluding to the title and then forgetting and then forgetting how I want to present it. Okay. The movie is called Milo and Otis. Excellent. And it's basically Sharp. it's basically just Great. an hour and a half long movie about the life of a cat and a dog that, ha that grew, grew up on a bar and happened to be friends going through their life. But narrated and voiced over by like three people. It sounds like the stupidest movie now that I think about it. Pull it out here really quick. Yeah, pull it out right there. Oops. A pug and a tabby, I think that's what that is. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know my cats very well. Like I said, now that I think about how I explained it, it is quite possibly it's quite possibly the stupidest movie. But again, when you're a kid, you watch the dumbest movies. I mean, greet people however you want to greet, man. Don't it don't matter to me how you do it. <laughs> a greeting is 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 a sandwich is a greeting. I'm already out of water. I may have to go refill that soon. What is it? For my greetings on stream here, I noticed it a lot recently, and it's starting to, my greetings when I stream now is starting to become Good evening, Good noche, Buen noche, Buen bon Juan, and anything else doesn't fall in between.
Going one one. More rot like it. I need to remember. O and A ah are different noises. So especially considering for char for English characters, Japanese does not have that many in that many consonants compared to vowels. <laughs> Something up here ready? No, it's not. Not yet. I know I do this every now and again, stream where I kind of flex my Japanese knowledge. And, yeah. I know I flex my Japanese a lot on stream, and I'm probably going to do it again tonight, here in a little bit. What I was talking about more is, I'm probably going to be, when I have downtime, I'm probably going to be scribbling things down in this book more. Which you can't read it, but this is a uh, this is a right basically a penmanship exercise for katakana and hiragana characters, and I'm probably gonna be doing that more at night now if I have the time. Simply because, according to I'm gonna say the app name Duolingo, I have mastered I have mastered what each character in hiragana and katakana sounds like, and the rules for what they look like conjoined together. Now that is an entire lie because that's an entire lie simply on the basis that for the first 45 days of me using that app, I focused on Hiragana. It's now been another 40 days since then. I have forgotten everything about Hiragana. <laughs> I've forgotten a lot of Hiragana, I should say. Well, just know that in Japanese, like I don't know enough Japanese to speak sentences. Other than, other than, oichi misu this. Other than a sentence like that. Other than like very short, simple answers, I cannot tell you how to speak the language. I will tell you though, for characters, it's uh, some characters sound very close to each other, like Sue okay. and Sue. I said two totally different looking characters, four if you want to count both Hiragana and Katakana. Big thing though, if you gotta remember, if you're going to, I'm, t I'm telling myself this when I'm learning, although I haven't come across it in a sentence structure yet, is if you are trying to pick up on the dialect, there are no L's in Japanese. There are no C in Japanese. In Japanese. So she and ra could be C and la, respectively. I just said lapis. Does it make sense? No. But then again, I always give this an example when people question 
Why would I bother learning Japanese? English is fine. Remember that in English, the sentence, Buffalo, 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 is a completely coherent and grammatically correct sentence. I got on a tirade and I forgot to do my flex. Oops. Well, I did one. I did one. Let's see. Oh, that was that's little. That's small. Kokoshi is little. Yasui is small. I remember. I remembered words now. Nice. Amazing. Neat. So. I think, if I'm saying it right, I'm probably wrong, but, but I think the sentence for me would go, so do I, yeah, so stream with this. Because its stream would be like would be like a normal English saying of it, just because the context of stream is a new world thing. So even in Japan they call it stream. Although they probably go sutreim sutreim sutreim. I think that's how it would be if you, if you like slowed it down, but because I speak English, I probably wouldn't do that. So I'm still learning numbers, but if I'm counting right, Junana, Juroku. Jugo. Fantastic. Jugon. Keep it up. Yosan. Fantastic. Juni. Come on. Juichi. Very nice. Ju. Great. Ju. Great. Hachi. That battle was epic. Nana. Roku. Go. Yon. San, Ni, Ichi. <laughs> Infinite. He died before I could finish counting backwards from 16. <laughs> or 18, I guess, but ra rather, but still. Now turn your exercise into experience <clears throat> points with a victory pose. <clears throat> Charge your score. <clears throat> points, but oh, you I feel better. Extend yourself. Hard me as well, but I feel better. It's been helping me a lot, like, kind of like how I did with Spanish when I started learning it. You know, I started with numbers, but also with Japanese, you know. I know, like, very small sentences, but I also speak, you know, have basically what I've been focused on recently has been numbers. So, you know, like I was going through Ichi, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, <clears throat> Yu, Ju, Juichi, Juni, I don't know. I just need to know what the preface is for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. As long as I got the preface numbers from everything up to 100. I'm pretty sure I could count to 100 in Japanese if I stopped and if I actually sat here and did it. 
Cause it seems like... Cause it seems like the uh, naming style, or the uh, rules for counting in Japanese, are very much in line with how the counting rules for Spanish. Anyway, I'm gonna take a minute here. I am bone dry. I'm bone dry in water, so I'm gonna take a minute and refill my water bottle. Enjoy the dulcet tones of Ring Fit while I go re-up. Button? Button, button, who's got the button? King Sloth has the button. Not, not, not. <sighs> oh yeah, just to cut, touch up on that again, Kasai. Suichi is little. Yasui is small. Little kind of in the sense of not a lot. Small meaning the actual diminutive size, if that makes sense. I don't know why I'm a sucker. You put in the channel points for me to hit the button, so I hit the button. I subjected myself to this. There's a reason why that is a that is the points it is. Okay. Amazing. Maybe in the future I'll increase the amount of points it takes to hit that. But right now, nah. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, points is fine. For clarification, I only know a Japanese 100, 
thanks to the dumb as hell PC game 100% orange juice. All right. Money more. I could be dabbing. Okay, we're done. Smoothies help you keep going. See, I could be dabbing, though that was the exercise. Now, if you want the actual dab, I have no shame. Hell, there is a Twitch. There is a. There is a. There is a, t a clip on Twitch. Probably one of my highest viewed clips on Twitch. Of me dabbing while playing Dragalia Lost, trying to slide away in my chair, and I fell out of my chair while dabbing. Okay, let's go. Bend your knees slightly as you do. I would, but I'm allergic to cats. Well, hello there, Far. Good evening, my friend. All right, you're. <laughs> I forgot Twitch's animated uh, emotes now. I forgot this was a thing. I also forgot Twitch. Now we fine. Also, the anatomy. I'm gonna re I'm gonna sound rude as hell, but you need to know your anatomy, my friend. Right now, I'm at my belly button while I'm doing this. This is the cojones down here. Like that's still a little too hot. <laughs> oh God, why does Crendor have a pop cat? But also, well, because Far brings this up, and that brings up a good point. So, this this applies to people that follow me, and I don't know how the follow email works, but I'm gonna, but I'll just go over this. So, Twitch is implementing or has implemented a f follower only emote now. <laughs> only thing I've been hearing, only problem with that, what I've been hearing is that if you cap, if if you follow somebody, you can only use that emote in their chat. I think that's how it works. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life has just begun. But now I've gone and thrown it all away. Wow, wow. Oh good, it's smack back. I do not. Do not watch them. Huh. Maybe. Maybe raid only emotes, but that would that would get used only like once a stream. So that might not be very beneficial. 
Maybe that could be a follower emote as well. Who knows? But, um, but no, so the follower emote thing. I might brainstorm something else. Hold on, let me grab my list. Now I've got some extra money to throw away here, and I've had some of these. Oh. Huh, I thought I had more than this. So these emotes I'm going to list off, by the way, I've had on a, on a sheet of paper, on this little, uh, I've had this little post note here for about three years since I got affiliate of potential streams, a potential stream, uh, or potential, uh, what you call them? Emotes. There we go. Lost the word. For potential emotes. So, in keeping in tune with the fact that I am hopelessly and shame and shamelessly addicted to the Toho series, the three I, the three ideas I've had were would be Angry Remu, Remu but with dollar signs for eyes, or Sleepy Mailing Hong. I don't know. Those have been the only ideas I've come up with emotes so far. In the three years I've had this affiliated. <laughs> I guess it's almost four years now, isn't it? Closer to four and three. Yeah, I do. I need a lot of help. Also, Shantae, damn it. Sorry. I saw Shantae fall over earlier and I wanted to fix it before I kept going tonight. There we go. Whew. Okay, second to last stage. Also, what is, what is our calorie count at? Yo. Buttons? You got the button. There it goes. Good lord. You get a, you get a nut and a half. Because <laughs> it glitched out. Oh, I hit it. I defo hit it. I was just lazy about not holding it up to the microphone. So it's there. Oh, got it. I got it. Somehow got that one. Is it warm? Yes. Well, hot is relative to your uh, location of the world. I am in the northern Midwest, so hot. I don't have timestamps turned on my Twitch chat, so I can't tell you the exact time. <laughs> I mean, you can say you can see when you said no right there. Huh. But yeah, I mean, you can see when uh, everything there. But but yeah, the the heat it's relative. Me being warm is probably is different than you being warm. Because, oh, excuse me, because it's about 72 now, I think, Fahrenheit, uh, 19 Celsius, somewhere around there. <laughs> so for me, that's, that's comfortable. It's comfortable, but I'm also working out, so I'm warm. But for some other people who live in like, California or Texas or Nevada or places like that 
That's a that is that is damn near break out the sh break out the sweater weather. <laughs> say and this is dating back to what I talked about way at the start of the stream back when I was 360 pounds or even further back when I was 440 pounds I started getting warm at 65 degrees about 12 Celsius I think I think that's the right math that's probably not it's probably close to like 15 I used to start getting warm and hot dirt when was that when was that temperature Did you know you lose a lot of weight? You suddenly get colder, easier, and faster? <laughs> like, for most days, I don't put on, I don't put on shorts. I don't put on shorts until it gets 80, uh, over 80 degrees anymore, which that is 21 Celsius, if I remember right. Why am I converting things to Celsius? I don't know. I try to be all-inclusive. Then again, I don't like wearing shorts to begin with. I am the kind of person that would... I'm the kind of person that... If I'm inside and I have a choice of, 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 of leg wear for the day, it's it's jeans, pants, it slacks. Okay. Nice. Zero degrees Celsius. That's cold. Fantastic. Not being cute. That's cold. Perfect. That's actually the freezing point. I have gotten to a point now where I've gotten to a point now in my life where if it goes below 60, I'm putting uh, if it goes below 70, I'm putting on a light sweater. If it go if it go, gets below 60, I'm putting on a heavy sweater. If it gets any, if it gets to 40 and below, I'm putting on a light sweater and a winter jacket. Uh. 17, 11, 5, no, 4. Why doesn't everybody use Celsius? It makes it easier. It makes it easier so I don't have to... Just, why doesn't everybody do Celsius? Just so we can all actually speak and not have to do a mental math when we want to tell people what, what temperature it is. No, I did that a while ago. I did one of those a while ago. Back when, uh... Oh, God, what was it? Oh, oh, right. Rush left. Oops. Back in, uh... I want to say 2014? Yeah, that sounds about right. Back in 2014, there was a... There was a challenge going around on Facebook to... go out in your... To go out in your swimming attire, you had to go out in your swimming attire and make a snow angel, or at least jump in a pile of snow. So, yeah. Distracted by things on my shelves tonight. Like, I'm like 15, 20 pages into this book. 
You guys can't see it. Hold on. It's the uh, Ask Iwata book that came out earlier this year. I've read about 20 pages of it so far, and I keep looking at it going, when I get time, I need to actually read this book. I bought it for the sole purpose of being one of three books I've read in my life. Is this a distributed by Nishi? Oh, it is edited by Hobo Nishi. Well, I'll be damned. I thought I saw that name. Before. Let me do Russian twist before I because I just slammed my tomorrow. Let me do Russian twist first and then we'll do the uh, uh revolve bend or whatever that one is called. said it was official yet. So, I am officially, it is official now, I am changing jobs, or I'm getting a new job, um, excuse me, I am getting a new job, or moving to a new job, on the 12th, which is not this coming Monday, but next Monday. I'm basically trans I'm basically getting a job that is closer to home. I'm getting a job that is closer to home and is actually full year round and gets me benefits. So even though I'm taking oops, I took a picture. Even though I'm basically I'm taking a dollar and a hour, dollar and a half an hour hit to my paycheck. I'll be saving money because I'll have benefits through my job, so I won't have to pay monthly benefits, or I won't have to pay for health insurance anymore out of my own pocket. <clears throat> I'm going to be, I have to, about, my drive is about 20 minutes less every day, which that will save me gas overall. And I'm working year round, which means I'll actually have a reliable paycheck all year round instead of seven months out of the year, if not less. So, I'm still kind of treating my current, so I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still at this time going to leave the soon to be job, the names of the soon to be job and the job I'm leaving, I'm gonna keep those private. But as soon as I leave my current job, I will have no problem talking about my current job and with name just because I don't want them to see, I don't want them to find anything about me talking about my, I don't want anybody that from my job finding out about my current job and taking that back to management before I'm done at my current job. <laughs> so what's on the bet by walking around? The storm back? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I don't, so yeah, I kept it that way. Like, if it comes up a conversation, what do you do in your spare time, Tyler? By the way, my real name's Tyler. What do you do in your spare time, Tyler? I'll mention that I do YouTube on the side. I won't give my channel address or anything unless they specifically are curious about looking into it more. But I separate, I separate out job and this stuff, step all the way back across if they're if one is dependent upon the other for me to keep doing the other. But once all ties are cut from a previous employer, I will have no problems talking about a previous employer. And again, like, I say this constantly, I say it a lot, I understand I have to keep working at it if I want it to be a reality, but if doing streaming and content creation can become a full-time job for me, then my job and social media become one in the same and I don't have to worry about 
talking about my other jobs. That makes sense. I worded specifically as such. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's always good to separate the two. But um. But yeah. I I phrase it as such as because yes. I would love to have this thing I'm doing right here be my source of income and do this for 8 to 12 hours a day because I enjoy doing this for 8 to 12 hours a day. It's fun and I know and it deal and it also feels like a job but until I hit that point I have to work a real job and I word it I word it as a, if I hit that point always because I have to work for it until I get to that point. Pendulum band, that's what it's called. Okay, let's move. Keep your hips still you Good job. But it is always Excellent. good to have a separation of internet life Excellent. and the real life. I mean, you can still talk about your real life stuff online and vice versa, but unless you're someone like me who has to use it as an icebreaker, generally don't bring it up unless it becomes the center point of conversation. What else can I add into this cocktail of, inter of discussion we're having about that now? Like, it's a funny clip on the internet now. But, please, for all that is good and holy, do not make your pickup line at the, at the club. So, you like memes? Please do not make that your pickup line. Yeah, and that's and again, that's that's actually a perfect example. You know, we do leg raises while I talk about that more. There are locations and activities that it's okay to blur the line on that stuff. Again, if it comes up a conversation, being one. Another being, excuse me, another being, you know, if you're in a place that is shaped by internet culture and internet humor, then yeah, you know, you can blur the line a little bit there. Most people will understand the blur, okay, let's but go. 
don't walk up to grandma and say, Hey grandma, I got this funny meme I got to show you. Yeah. I don't know why you suddenly sound like you're like you're a Danish gangster, but yeah, that's that's you now. Although, I imagine within the next five years or so, we uh, we might be hitting a point in in uh, human evolution and conversation that saying the sentence "Grandma, check out this dank meme" won't be an uncommon thing. <laughs> oh God! If I'm right. If by some stupid stroke of imagination and luck, I am right, and in five years, grandma or you, true grandma, say that sentence, I think I think we're okay to hit the world reset button. Okay. Oh, I know that line. It comes from a Weird Al song. <laughs> At least, how I knew of it comes from a Weird Al song. And most people look at me like I'm all covered with hands. But I'm a genius in France. Genius in France. Genius in France. Okay. And I'm never going back. I'm never going back. I'm never, 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 never going back home again. Great. I'm tearing up a return flight ticket. Don't tell the folks okay. back home where they can stick it. Perfect. I haven't heard Genius Great. in France in like five years. Why do I know these lyrics? Hey, we're now duo me. Excellent. We'll do a duet. I'll sing off key, and you can criticize everything I do. <laughs> uh. well done. The sad part is, Weird Al's kind of cool like that. He might actually do that. <laughs> Look, like, yeah, he's a musician first and foremost. Uh, he's a musician first and foremost, so he's probably working on music a lot. But again, he is also kind of a cool person like that, where he'll just do dumb stuff like that, because he can. Jello Pudding Pops? Like... I feel like how that's gonna work though for you, Kasai, how it's gonna... Excuse me, how it's gonna go is... You're gonna try and terrorize them. You're gonna be like, Hey kids, open up the Instant Messenger app. I got this spicy meme to show you. Grandpa, it's not called Instant Messenger anymore. We've been over this 30 times. Also, our phones don't support MP4s. Get with the times, old man. Oh. Like, uh, oops, wrong way. Got a saw here in my hand. Like, I kind of fully, I finally, I fully subscribe to the fact that by the year, uh, what was it? Okay. You know, by the year 2050 or something, somewhere in that range, 
you know, we'll definitely have the, we'll probably definitely, not sure about cars and all that stuff that you see in, in quote unquote futuristic stuff, but we'll definitely be of a point where, we'll definitely be to a point in society where, you know, our phones are entirely integrated into our, onto our heads or into our heads or into our eyes. You know, implants and implanted phones. We, I don't. I'm not surprised. I would not be surprised if we hit that point in 30 years. I mean, hell. Do I have an example? No, I do not have an SD card. I do not have a micro SD card I can easily get access to. Never mind. But I will tell you. Like look at your look at your pinky fingernail. I will tell you right now that I will tell you right now that with uh, with an HDMI port and one USB port to give it to Daisy Chain off of, that I can probably give you a computer that can run Windows 98 and several and about 30 games. Off of a off of a micro SD chip that's about the size of your pinky finger or your pinky nail. We are at the point technology wise where, again, you're you're just your nail, not like the actual finger underneath your fingernail. But we're at a point in technology where something the size of your pinky, your pinky's fingernail, has one terabyte of space on it. We're kind of getting to the point where we can put stupid amounts of stuff in tiny compartments. Pretty sure if I took the time to learn how to solder. That I could probably that I could probably make my own retro pie with my uh, my own retro pie OS and stuff whatnot machine. I could probably make all that and have it be and have it be about the size of this 3DS Amiibo compatibility thingy that I bought so I could use my Amiibo twice on my 3DS. I'm getting kind of philosophical with the stuff I'm talking about right now, I'm well aware. But I kind of, I personally feel like you're only, you only, you only become old, you only become old if you A, stop learning, and B, fear the future. A lot of people, a lot of old people nowadays, okay. old being relative to my age group, so people in like their 70s and 80s. Old people in my group are the people, you know, fierce, you know, fear mongering and spreading that, you know, we don't have, uh, of, uh, we don't want microchips in our in our bloodstream because they'll track us through the through the government through the government facilities and all that jazz. And I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking. Dude, if you could put a microchip under my hand that wouldn't come out of my skin due to how the human bodies regenerate, that would track me, I'd feel incredibly safe. Like, if I ever get kidnapped, they're going to be able to find me because I've got a goddamn microchip in my under my skin. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of. I know. I know. I'm like um, odd man out and kind of weird about that when it comes to that stuff. But okay, let's move. I do like. I do like technology, and I like how where technology advances, and I like to see where it advances. Being afraid of the advancements in technology is never is not a good thing. Because then you just because then you're just afraid of everything. Yes. 
Like, it's much more rare nowadays, now that... Forgive me for being more, uh, morose about this. But it's much more it's much rare nowadays, but... If you think back, like, ten years ago, when... Cell phones were becoming commonplace, and everybody had one, no matter what income bracket they were in. If you gave somebody 60 or older a cell phone, 10 years ago, they'd freak out and see how quickly they'd get it back out of their hands. Now we're at, now we're at a point where landlines aren't a thing anymore, everybody has a cell phone. Wait, do I get up for this one? Okay, I thought I said thigh press triple rush. I was like, wait, how do you triple rush a thigh press? That's like one set of actions. So maybe I feel able to see it. Since I try to set my height. Oh no. You know, hype responsibly, as the saying goes. But like, everybody has that one thing. Everybody, everybody, or several people have those several things that they can't, they can't get with, or don't know how to mesh with in their in their life. Or yeah, how to mesh it into their day-to-day -day life. The thing is, you know, you can reserve, you can reserve your feelings. Again, you can have your you can have your feelings about something that's popular and how you don't like it. You can have those feelings. That's perfectly fine. You should feel it in your stomach. But the moment that you don't like something because it's because you don't this but the moment you don't like something simply on the grounds that you don't understand it, that's when it that's when it's at its worst. Like, okay. And I apologize if I put you on the spot here. If you put you on the spot here, Kingsloth. But, like, how Kingsloth was saying is that, you know, he, as far as I can tell, he or she is very... He, she, or they... I need to include all of these lost life. I'm sorry. He, she, or they are very, uh, very adamant about and very much enjoy baseball. Me, I understand baseball... I will watch baseball with others. I personally don't enjoy it. I don't actively go out of my way to say baseball bad. Just to repeat my point. You cannot like something. But if you don't like something just because you simply do not understand it, that's when you've lost the battle. At least in my opinion. I could be blowing smoke at this point. But then again, I'm an oddity, me myself, I'm an oddity in the world where I understand technology, I understand technology, and I will use it if it's there, but I'm also, I also lean more towards old school practices for a lot of stuff. 
Like. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Exact. Good. Good call. I mean, be careful not to get sucked in. I only say that because of the the vocal minority of of sour events that have come out of that community. But at least understand the community, because there's pro there are probably handfuls of fantastic people in that community. It's just that a handful of them, the bad eggs, have made a bad name for the rest of the community. As I was saying, I do sit I do sit with old practices though. Still, like, um. Like if, uh, actually, example I can give of what happened two, two or three weeks ago when I was helping my dad with some home repairs. So, he had a, I'm going to say like a 250, 300 pound rug that he had prepared for, to put down on a porch after we finished uh, re, re, uh, rebuilding it. But we, but we wanted to move it, or rather, I wanted to move it somewhere for some reason, I forget what, so we could have easier access to something else. Now, he had a, a cherry picker, or a forklift for example's sake, he had a forklift that, he, that we could have easily just picked it up with, moved it where, off to the side and been done with it. But because I'm old school in how I handle things, I went over to this 250, 300 pound rug, got underneath it, and I lifted the son of a gun up, walked it over to where it had to go, set it down, and didn't even bo and didn't even bother with having him didn't even bother with having him put it on the forklift. Anyway, but another example I will give because I'm not a full-blown member of this community, but I have seen the communities and I have, eh, we won't, we won't mess with it. I am not a full-blown member of these communities, but I have participated in some of the content that comes out of these communities, the current Hololife trend or the current v virtual tuber, v VTuber trend. We're gonna do this last drag out stage and call it a day. But the VTuber trend. Not everybody likes it. Well aware. That's perfectly fine if you don't like it. I thought I was gonna hate it too. And then I started watching it. And then I started watching clips from it. Not the actual streams, because I don't have time to watch the actual streams right now. But I watched clips from it. And I kinda got invested in some of the stuff going on there and some of the some of the inside jokes that go on during those. Now, currently today, I'm a little bummed and a little and a little melancholy because who the one who became my favorite of all of them out there effectively effectively retired from doing it. Also, for anyone watching the bot or who I'm talking about, Kiryu Koko. Basically, basically, who was the first of who was basically the ambassador for the English branch of the Hololive members. <laughs> I missed the coin. You can jump a little higher by getting your knees oh. Slowly extend your knees. Huh. 
I'm not gonna lie, I actually may have bit off more than I can chew tonight. Makes you bit off more than I can chew. I bit off more than I can chew. You didn't exactly make me do this, Kasai, so don't feel bad. But I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a couple minutes early. And the only reason I'm giving this, my reasoning for it, is simply because it's been about two hours of stream time almost. Actually, it'd probably be closer over here for you guys. It's been almost two hours of stream time and I worked, and a reminder that I work a physical labor job throughout the day. So I'm pretty much at the end of my rope here. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, let's finish. I basically thought about it more as I was running. So we stopped there. We stopped there today, which is a little lower on the calorie count than normal, but whatever. We stopped We stopped there for today. If I had kept going, we would have been at, it would have been 10 o'clock for me, 10 o'clock at night for me, which is when I need to go to sleep, roughly. That timer would, would have been at an hour, 10 minutes, and I would have been, and I would have been, pretty much dead so we're just gonna call it there we're gonna call it there for tonight and just rest also these also these that come up here these because we didn't do any needed chest reps tonight um all of these that are popping up here all these like milestone rewards these are popping up because these are what I, these are things I do when I these are things that I do and accomplish during my personal workout sessions that I don't stream. So basically, what I do off camera that is not in the adventure mode specifically does get tallied into adventure mode end of day stats. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Use your right hand to pull back the so, with your left hand. while I stretch out here, while arching back uh, does anybody back have any questions they wish to ask me this evening? Uh, while those pop up, if there are any, I will tell you guys that um, streaming over the next couple days now do the is going to be weird if they ha if it happens, because basically, what is it? Closer. I already went over it earlier, but basically how my week, how my week, how my holiday weekend here is going to be going is I'm Bring going to be, I'm trying to think of the words, give me a minute. Raise both arms and pull down I have to work tomorrow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling After your work down. tomorrow, I have to head over to the good grocery store and buy some produce to make a pineapple salsa. Now do the same on the opposite uh, side. You can look up the recipe if you want a more finite definition of it, but basically it's Be careful not to let your upper body one medium body. pineapple, one red bell pepper, one uh, half of a chopped oh. onion, I believe is what it is, uh, one Bring serrano or jalapeno of your choice, Join your hands together and optional you. cilantro, Position your glutes as if you're going optional to cilantro, and, stretch your hands forward. and spritz with lime and or lemon juice. And also do, and also put uh, chili powder in it. Back slowly. Put your right leg forward and put your hands eh. on your hips. At some point, we can talk. At some right point, it'll be talked about, just because it's a good topic to get onto. 
But yeah, I have to go make that. I'm basically going to try and make a triple or quadruple serving of that. Because I have to make it for... God, what is it? Eight. It's not a main dish. Or it's not the main dish, thankfully. So I don't have to make a huge, huge amount. But I have to make enough for eight... 12... 12 to 17 people? So yeah, pineapple salsa. Look it up. It's delicious. My, bro my brother-in-law made it, and that's why I'm making it. And drop your hips. Rotate your left shoulder inward and extend your left hip. It's not like a chip salsa. You can't eat it with chips, but it's not like a chip salsa. It's more like a, it's more like a fruit salad than anything. Return to facing forward. Now stretch your right hip joint too. But yeah, I have to get the ingredients for that tomorrow. Um, after work, and then. Bring yourself back slowly. I may do some recording that night. I may hang out with friends. Depends upon what and the plans entail. Good job. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to the party that I just got done talking about. Sunday, I have to go to my mother's birthday party. Monday. Monday is when I... So, Saturday is definitely going to be a no-go. More than likely. First stream. Sunday, mother's birthday party. Monday, it's the... Um, typically... That's when most people are getting their holiday day off from work. So I may hang out with friends on that Monday. Depends upon how things go. So Monday, Monday night stream is up in the air. If I can't do it Monday, I'll try and move it to Tuesday because I do want to give you guys that Monday stream if I can. We'll see how things boil. We'll see how things work. And if I do stream, if I, whenever I do stream next Monday, which will be more likely Monday or Tuesday, it'll probably be Mario Golf, you know, that game. Anyway, with this stream pretty much wrapped up, I didn't see any questions. So... Let's go find somebody to bombard for a stream this evening, shall we? And again, for new viewers, if you don't know how this works, I give you guys the choice. I let you guys choose who we raid on a, on a stream night out of who I follow. I need to get that clear. I need to get that quantifier because some people, not a bad idea, but some people may, uh, some people may take some liberties with that and say, go, go raid this guy. No. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to find new people on Twitch. So the people I do raid are always the same five to seven people. I understand. But still. And if again, if we can't come to an agreement, I kind of, I sometimes will just let auto host take over because there's some nights where I just can't decide. So, tonight, uh, tonight looks like there is only three decisions. Uh, we can go with Botanic Sage, who is oddly enough streaming Mario Golf Super Rush. We can go over to Nakatalili, who is doing a new model, who is doing a new model for his stream avatar. Which is currently on stream as well. So it's not like real time updating. But basically he's redoing. He's basically redoing his uh, stream avatar. Or we can go over to Metal Kick. Who is playing. Agro. Agro. Agrao. Agra, agro. I don't know how to say that name. But what the description says. It's basically. You know, uh, secret, uh, ultimate werewolf, secret Hitler, that kind of game where there's an obvious, where there's an, where there's a fake amongst the reels. So again, without the rambling, Botanic Sage with golf, Nakatuli doing modeling work or metal kick playing you know, effectively ultimate werewolf. 
wrong thing. And again, if you guys don't choose, perfectly fine. I'll probably throw it over. Metal kick? Okay, we'll go over to metal kick. Uh, I probably won't stick around too long because I still have to clean up and handle one or two things before I go to sleep tonight. So I'll probably come in with you guys for the raid and then I'm going to dip. So, I don't have a raid message. Let's just go raid metal kick. And we'll go from there. So thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Reminder that I will see you either Monday or Tuesday for more Mario Golf. I will see you folks later. Take care.